welcome back so in this video we'll be uh, discussing on the phishing attack so we will move on to the practical demonstration so uh, even in the previous videos we discussed about the phishing attack where uh, uh, the victim will receive a mail from the attacker uh, as like a legitimate mail something like uh, 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 invoice sent from a, a client company or, that is, or the vendor company or uh, uh, you, you, you may receive uh, an email like uh, you won some uh, lottery or something like that. So basically uh, your email will contain the link so where you will be asked to click on the link to uh, get the uh, uh, price or uh, uh, get the voucher or something like that. So when you click on the link so it will redirect you to the uh, attackers website uh, but uh, it will look like a legitimate site but uh, obviously it will be redirected to a uh, legitimate uh, attacker site so where if you type the username and password you'll your uh, username and password will be captured by the attacker and here for the demonstration uh, I just want to show you how the uh, uh, attackers uh, um, may get your uh, uh, Facebook uh, login uh, uh, login name and the password so for which I'm going to use a tool called uh, social engineering toolkit so which is uh, already available in the Kali so basically this uh, social engineering uh, 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 basically this uh, phishing attack is a social engineering attack so I can use this SE toolkit so from the terminal you can type SE toolkit and it will take you to the C toolkit and it will ask you to accept the license agreement since this video I'm the, just uh, putting this for the learning purpose so do not do any uh, bad activities through this knowledge so so first of all here I want to proceed with the social engineering attack so I'll go with the option one and uh, out of the uh, social engineering attack has many type many kind of attacks so out of that uh, I want to perform currently uh, website attack so let me go with the second option and here uh, you can choose whichever the option you want you can uh, go with the credential harvester or tab nabbing web jacking or something like that so currently I want to go with the credential harvester so I go with the option 3 so uh, here you, you need to clone a legitimate site so through which uh, your, your, your Kali machine can uh, copy the legitimate web page so whenever uh, your victim uh, clicks on your link he will get the uh, legitimate page it looks like a legitimate page but it, the page will be delivered from the uh, attackers mission that is from the Kali machine for now and here uh, I go with the option site cloner I want to clone a particular site so I'm going with the option 2 and here it will ask you to give the IP address of the harvester who is going to harvest the credential so obviously my Kali machine is going to harvest the uh, IP so I want to know the IP of my Kali machine so IP of my Kali machine is 10.10.10.10 .10 .10 .10. So it is automatically taken here so even the same can be done in public internet also in that case your Kali machine should be con uh, should be having your public IP so currently my Kali machine's IP is taken automatically so just I can press enter or even you can also manually type the IP no issues and now here you need to type the URL which you want you want to clone so as I said earlier I want to clone the um, uh, Facebook's page so I want to clone the login page of the Facebook so particularly uh, I can also type uh, HTTP colon basically uh, the uh, Facebook's page is running on HTTP yes but still here uh, I'm typing HTTP colon login dot Facebook dot com and uh, even though I use the HTTP so when I Q enter and here you can see it is copying the HTTPS page only that is it is copying the uh, Facebook's uh, original uh, login page and uh, it has uh, uh, copied the page to this particular location and now it is ready so you can press enter 
so now the harvester is running on port 80 and it is waiting for the victim to uh, enter the credential so now what the attacker will do is so with this uh, uh, IP information so where the attacker want to uh, pull the victim to reach this IP so for which uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to send a mail to the uh, victim I'm just uh, typing the email ID uh, of the receiver uh, okay, actually I, I have a, a demo email ID here which is my ehdemolab at gmail.com I'm going to send mail to that particular email ID my eh demo lab at gmail.com so my demo lab my eh demo lab I just want to confirm my eh demo lab at gmail.com yes so actually the uh, attackers the real attackers will craft the email in such a way that uh, where the uh, receiver uh, will not uh, get any doubt about the email so in such a way they will craft the email so here since this is a demo I'll just uh, craft in a simple way so saying that uh, you won Amazon voucher and in the mail okay dear customer Okay, I just uh, give a simple uh, sentence, but usually the attackers will craft the mail uh, which looks like a legitimate mail. I just uh, type a simple mail, okay, saying that uh, you won Amazon voucher in the body to get the voucher. log into Facebook and regards some XYZ so something like this they will craft the mail and also I want to make the victim uh, to use the link which I uh, send him so because uh, he should not directly go to the Facebook and login he should use the link which I am sending so what I am going to do is in this word login I am going to insert a, insert a link URL so after selecting the word you can see the option attach uh, link you can insert here link so in the link what I'm going to do is HTTP colon double slash and the IP of the Kali machine and I can also test this link here so whenever he clicks on the link so this particular page will open that's fair so let me press OK and let me send this mail and uh, whenever the victim receives the mail and here you can see the mail is received so he'll open the mail and as on seeing the mail he might he might get excited so he might uh, try to log into Facebook and here it is asking to type the uh, username and password I just type something like uh, comet at uh, gmail.com and password I just type ABCDEF and then press login and that's it and again you can see here the URL goes back to the uh, Facebook's original page but still uh, the user will try to log in again and uh, he'll, he can log in as usual 
but in meanwhile in the Kali machine we can verify here you can see something has been captured and here we can see the possible user field and password field so that has been captured so this is how the phishing attack works so the uh, the victim will be sent with a link whenever he clicks on the link so you need to uh, the clicks on the link the the session will be established with the attackers machine so where uh, whatever the transaction you do that will be recorded so basically uh, to uh, mitigate this uh, kind of phishing attacks is the awareness so never click on any link uh, or unless until you are sure that this is a legitimate mail or a legitimate link otherwise so you'll get trapped with this kind of uh, phishing attacks and that's all for this video so we'll discuss the remaining topics in the upcoming videos until then bye bye